found something. Signal confirmed. Dig up any information on the mission, Lyra? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So the Asari throw us at the problem? What's the plan? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here.
Another shuttle. Still warm. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Stay sharp. I heard something. Oh, that was me. Sorry. This was the Commando's captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A map, showing the nav point location of a bomb. Some room called the Great Hall. So the Commandos started the purge after all. Arda Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb.
Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara! It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Not sure how I feel about doing the Asari's dirty work. We need them on our side. Well, Asari Command owes us big time for this. Agreed. The Reaper's done. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother! Been... They have Rila! What? 
I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... Monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? Didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Thalair. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Thalair? I'm sorry. Thalair! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came.
another commando got overrun? This place must have been chaos. Or they panicked. Asari commandos have decades of experience. They don't panic. Doesn't matter how long you've been fighting. You never know what'll break your unit. Valère. Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. For now, let's get back to that bomb. Filair, go! Take the elevator! Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go!
Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! Goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much stronger than I believed. Let. Go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell.
Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Talk Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court martial us after we save the galaxy. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Hey, Commander. I dug out some letters my youngest sister wrote when she was in high school. She was... Having a hard time. Teen drama and all that. Just needed her big sis. I guess with everything that happened down there, I just wanted to read them again. You sure make some unusual friends, Shepard. That is not a side of these sorry I ever want to see. Shepard? Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. It wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. So, who needs their ass kicked now? It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder. Eliminates any local resistance. 
And for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the Information Network Terminal. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures. Nobody deserves that. The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Do you ever feel awkward, being the only Turian on the ship? I don't know. Should I? I just mean, not having anyone else like you around. Mm, doesn't seem to bother Liara. But she can eat their food. Good to see you. Hello, Commander. We were just, uh, double-checking the thermal ducts. I'm sure you were. Carry on. Shepard. Commander? Do you think Shepard noticed? I'm sorry, he didn't. I'm so embarrassed.
signal confirmed. something. Signal confirmed. Asian successful. Found something. Signal confirmed. Thank you. 
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Falaire is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Will Falaire be alright in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive... Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. You know... I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? An odd question, coming from the Spectre who killed his third Reaper on Rannoch. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. Reaper forces have been sighted in the Planetha system. Excuse me, I'm Commander Shepard. If you promise to be careful, I've got something for you. A Reaper code fragment? Yes, I can use this to try to predict their strategic processes. We might be able to save a few worlds with this, Commander. Thank you. No, I know what I said. Divert forces to the new coordinates. Trust me. We may not be able to stop the Reapers, but I think we can predict their movements now. Urgently. Human, I must speak to you on behalf of my people. What is it? Holding sorrow. Takuna. My home world. The Reapers have come. Holding sorrow. Our warriors are under siege, but your forces can rescue them. Urgently, please. All the other races have turned us aside. How do your people fight? Proudly, with BI-assisted infantry. Our soldiers carry heavy weapons into battle mounted on their backs. Mixed pride and shame, our enemies have called us living tanks as well as names less flattering. I'll take the Normandy as soon as we have time. Relief. Thank you, Commander. Small hope. Perhaps we can evacuate some of our civilians when your forces arrive. 
anxiously. I will remain here for news. Please hurry. The Kuna burns. I have excellent news. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donald Udina's activities. We're still piecing together his coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. The situation is growing urgent for my people. We're aware your Crucible is still missing a key component. The Catalyst? Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Every species in the Citadel has its secrets, Commander. But this one, in the wrong hands, would upset the balance of galactic power. The Reapers are doing that right now. Which is why I'm bringing this to you. I appreciate the help. It's you who will be helping us. The Matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat... Ow! I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer. How could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? 
I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously. But when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on. But I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! I think I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D-24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. So, what were you able to pull from the inscriptions? Really? Excellent. I knew they'd find something. ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No, evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Seren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities, but Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. They used polonium rounds. 
I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the council embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Suit Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. And you're assisting him in spite of that? This war is too big for old grudges. You showed me that. We're at peace with the Geth. I can't waste my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was. Made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you. Everything looks so peaceful. In here, you can almost forget about the war. I never get tired of looking at this place. I never thought they'd let a quarry in up here. The Presidium is so beautiful. Her name is Tasha Pore. Of course. P O R A E. No, I realize you can't tell me where she was deployed. Can you inform me if she's under orders not to communicate with her family? It's uh, been a while since I heard from her. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. I pulled this from a Geth jamming tower. Maybe you can use it. How the hell did you... Oh, never mind. Tech like this? I don't care where it came from. I'll have my people run with this. When the war comes back here... Maybe we can save more lives. Thanks again. If we can get it working, this jamming tech will make this place a lot safer. This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. All the shuttles zipping around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up, buy us ice cream, and cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You should bring Sarah up here. I will, when she's ready. She'll like the quiet. She wasn't the loud tomboy crashing around like I was. Sounds like you were a handful. Maybe. My dad got me. Jamie never met him. He would have liked you. You think so? Career military man? Yeah. Yeah, he would have invited you over, cooked you something on the grill, and talked your ear off. Ever think about what life would have been like outside the Alliance? Oh, sure. Tried to rebel against the whole military family thing when I was growing up. When my dad and I got into it, I'd threaten to run away with the next guy that came along. Really? He'd laugh and say, Good, I'll pack your damn bags myself. That tended to deflate me pretty quick. He knew I'd never stray far from the family. They're everything to me. That sounds great, Ash. But right now, I can't focus on anything but you. Well now, those big powerful Citadel arms giving you ideas, Commander? Maybe. Then maybe... I have something to ask you. What? Well, we had something before. A long time ago. Something important. You've seen me at my worst. Totally embarrassing. You were there for me when my baby sister was suffering. I've held a gun in you, Shepard. I'm just saying, 
We've been through a lot. I have to know. Are we going somewhere? I want more, Ash. I can't see myself with anyone else. That's good. I'd hate to have to punch out whichever table-dancing tart is throwing herself at you this time. Such a romantic. You love it. Now get Remind me. Yes, sir.